Hello, in my previous video I gave a brief overview of the Element 3 XML API and uh, I got an interesting uh, comment in the video and um, I, I wanted to make a video about it. So the comment says, um, Hi Francesco, I've been trying to do something with Element 3 for several days but it's impossible for me and it gives me the feeling that it's very simple. I want to make a little script that adds a child element or only if it doesn't already have it. Imagine that the document lacks a year to Panama, my script will go through the XML document and I'm the in the year. Could you uh, give me some idea please? Many thanks. Now if we if we go to the um, element 3 uh, page uh, on the docs for Python, um, we can see the XML file that we used on the, on the previous uh, video. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to remove the year uh, to uh, to this XML and um, I'm gonna show you a script that I wrote and we're gonna go through line by line to see what it does um, to see how I uh, approached this problem and I'm sure there is other ways to do it uh, I didn't spend too much time on it but uh, it's uh, it's fairly straightforward however there are some things like uh, do the way uh, the country is defined with attributes uh, that makes it slightly slightly more difficult for beginners um, um, we're gonna use f strings to do this uh, but it's um, it's not too complicated so let's move uh, let's move over to spider uh, the python id that i'm using in the same folder where i've created my python script i've um, i've created uh, a file called sample underscore no year, uh, no year dot xml and I've pasted the, the sample data from the Python library in it. Uh, I've removed uh, the year from Panama and uh, I've saved it. Now, uh, my script uh, is, um, follows the same principle as the, the previous video, uh, but now we have um, a sort of goal in mind. And um, uh, as, as previously, uh, we, we're going to import the XML E3 element 3 as ET um, uh, and by pressing F9 uh, on for Spider, um, I can run the line. Uh, then I've defined uh, the, the, the file name as um, um, XML file and uh, now if I follow the the steps from the library I can parse the XML and get the roots and uh, I've also uh, dumped uh, the, uh, the, the tree so I can view it in the console so if I run this I now get uh, my XML file in the console and I can see uh, pan uh, the country name is Panama and uh, there's no year in it and um, and by the way, I do recommend uh, viewing my previous video. Um, otherwise, yeah, you'll find it very tough to to follow this. But um, the way I, the way I've approached it is, um, I decide to find uh, the first of all all the name of the countries, and I've put them in an empty list, and uh, and then uh, I've used a root find all. Uh, to to find all the uh, all the elements that uh, belong to country and append the n element attribute uh, uh, name uh, to to the list country. So if I run this, uh, and I can see in my variable explorer, I get uh, my countries list and uh, the three values listed in Singapore and Panama as per the uh, the XML. My next step is to uh, find uh, the the countries um, um, that have the year tag inside. I've started a new list and I'm iterating through the name of each country. This is sort of the same but in reverse. So uh, before uh, we we use root find all to find the name of the country and now we're, uh, we're using root find all to go to the specific country and uh, extract uh, the elements. Um, however, we, I'm, I'm not interested in, uh, in the contents. I don't want the rank, I don't want the GDPC, GDPPC, uh, the neighbor names, etc. Um, so I've put an if statement and uh, 
if it finds a tag uh, called uh, year um, is gonna append the name of the countries uh, the name of the country to uh, countries with year so if I run this uh, I get a new list countries with year and uh, you can see there's just list this time in Singapore because as as it was iterating through when it got to uh, the the country name uh, Panama it couldn't find uh, the 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 tag uh, year so this um, this statement uh, was never sort of uh, uh, true and therefore it, it did not append to the list um, this is where things uh, may have gotten a little bit tricky so if you didn't follow this part um, it's not too bad uh, I'm using an F string um, uh, which basically defines this string but uh, gives me the option to use a variable inside uh, the text of the string by putting curly brackets in it so country is my variable uh, which, I, uh, which I define here uh, is my iterator and uh, and this part here between the square brackets uh, is, it allows me to pinpoint which country sort of satisfy the the query let's call it we we've used this um, this sort of syntax in my previous video so if you if you're unsure um, you can go back and view the other videos or you can refer to um, the uh, uh, to the library and uh, you'll find uh, you'll find this syntax under xpath support uh, here for example and the full list is here as well um, uh, I'm not doing anything special um, it's just I'm using the f string to manipulate this because uh, otherwise I would have to I would have to type the name of each country um, and uh, and this makes it uh, using f strings makes it um, a, a lot easier. So my next step is to create um, another list, and this is going to be a list of uh, countries that do not have uh, the year in it. So we just found uh, the countries with the year. We have a list of all the countries. We just have to do one minus the other. One way to do this is iterating through the uh, countries and uh, checking if uh, uh, they are uh, they're in the list so what do i mean by that so let's, uh, let's start by creating a countries without year list uh, it's going to be empty and uh, for country in countries and this is my list with all of them uh, if the country so let's take Liechtenstein for example is uh, not in countries with year then I'm gonna append the name of the country in this case Liechtenstein uh, to the list but in this case Liechtenstein is in the countries with year list so it will not it would not satisfy uh, this statement so uh, if I run this we now see that uh, Panama is in countries without year and uh, and this is because once once we get to Panama it cannot find it in the list of countries with year and so we we put it inside the list now if all the countries had the year in it uh, then we would just uh, get an empty list um, if we had multiple uh, countries without the year tag in it uh, we would get multiple countries the next part is basically adding an empty tag uh, in in the countries without the year because we want to be able to edit it um, at the moment uh, there is um, uh, there is nothing and so I would have to I would have to create one and uh, to do this I use the same approach that I used before to go to the specific country um, However, I'm picking the countries now for the countries without the year and uh, once I get to the, the country that, uh, that I'm interested in, I'm gonna add uh, a new value using uh, uh, element, sorry, uh, using sub-element from element 3 with the name year 
so when a use sub element uh, asks for uh, basically the parent so if I do new var equal et dot sub element sorry uh, it requests for the parent the tag and extra extra information now I know the tag is year and parent uh, is ELM so this is what uh, so this is what I've, uh, I've used now that it's created I can use uh, uh, dot text to add uh, an empty string so uh, if I run this plus et dump tree I should now get an updated version of my tree uh, with the year in the uh, um, in the country name Panama so if I run this uh, I get uh, the new the new XML and uh, there it is so uh, when, whenever you use um, uh, element tree you might not keep the the sort of the the pretty format of uh, uh, I mean if you had it formatted uh, uh, like this um, it, it might not maintain it um, however um, it is in the correct spot uh, so uh, as you can see my uh, my country is between this entry point and the sort of exit point and uh, my year with no with nothing in it is here um, um, obviously um, it, it does not matter which order these are stored in um, as long as it's within uh, these two um, sort of uh, these are almost like brackets I want to verify that um, everything has worked so I've created uh, this and the uh, little script uh, which uh, basically um, uh, finds uh, all the uh, all the countries uh, from countries and uh, if the element tag is equal to year it uh, appends it to new countries with year and uh, we should now see that uh, all the countries are in there um, so Lixestein 2008, Singapore 2011, Panama empty so it has worked as I said we were asked to sort of um, edit um, also the value so uh, using root find all uh, I've created an entry point for Panama now in this case we know it's Panama however uh, if you have uh, a list of values for example you can create uh, uh, using the same method uh, uh, an iterator and uh, iterate through uh, the list and uh, and get the um, and, and update the value sort of systematically um, for this one it's just one um, I've, I've, I've set it to for element in root find all country Panama and this is the important part I'm now going to year uh, instead because I want to I want to actually hit this point and um, actually if I if I just run this uh, I can see that uh, um, it's empty now but uh, when it gets here for Panama I want to update it with uh, 2020 for example so if I actually now move this one out sorry not out I want to move it after and um, run it my um, entry is now updated to 2020 and if I dump the tree again I can see that year now contains the value 2020 it's not an empty string anymore and um, I want to save it so um, as per previous video uh, if I run this the element tree is now um, saved um, has an XML with the same name as the original plus edit in the end and uh, if I go to my files uh, sample no year uh, edit uh, there it is and uh, I can format it to sort of make it a little bit pretty but uh, functionally it doesn't matter but uh, uh, there it is um, hopefully this uh, helped uh, a few more people and uh, please add um, uh, if you have any questions or ideas for uh, 
um, new videos or problems uh, please let me know yeah uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye